So let's take a look at the Fenerci Mini Oscilloscope. So that's interesting. They actually packaged the oscilloscope and the probe separately. I actually like that they did that because that way I'm not going to try to bend them. I'm trying to fit them in this small box. So we got our manual and we've got our scope. On the top, we got one of those push rotary buttons. You can turn it left and right and you can press down on it. So we got a test point right there. DSO, DDS on the top, USB C on the left. We got a tether point right there and a fairly simple looking interface. Those come with charging cables, USB A to USB C. We got a tether. We got a connector with some alligator clips. We got our probe accessories. Our probe, and this has 1X and 10X, and that is a simple hook style. In the back, we got our BNC. We got our attenuation point, and we have an adapter to connect this to our oscilloscope. So I'm going to plug in my probe. I'm just press this in. Okay, so at the beginning, we're going to choose whether we want to use the oscilloscope or the signal generator. Change the sound. Startup. So we can actually make a startup on the oscilloscope every time if we want to. Auto shut down, factory reset. Okay, cool. So I'm just going to press and hold to go back, go back to the oscilloscope. And there we go. It actually has a pretty nice looking display on it. Let's hook that test point. And we can see it does not look that bad. We can see a little bit of ripple in there, but overall, you can read this. You know exactly what that is. You can see it is outputting a one kilohertz signal, 50% duty cycle. Obviously, it's on as long as it is off. You can actually see a lot of information on here. Let's say duty cycle, tw oh, duty cycle minus and plus. Okay. Very cool. All right, so we can see that we are a little low there on the front. Always a good idea to attenuate before you actually start using if you care about the measurement. There we go. That looks pretty good. So now let's connect it up and give us some juice. Hit auto again. There we go. So, I mean, it does take it a few seconds, but we get our sine wave. So this is connected AC power. We are seeing 60 Hertz, 50% duty cycle and 16.6 .6 milliseconds. Nice, so we got a run and stop right there. We choose our tab on the bottom with the top, and then we press the arrow to adjust it. So if we had the probe on 10X, we would use that. Let's go ahead and use that. Oh, I guess we were already on 10X. Okay, my bad. Cool. And it does appear that there is enough room to put in both the signal generator alligator clips as well as the probe. So from the oscilloscope, we just press and hold. Now we can go to the signal generator. Oh, that's nice. It appears to have a bunch of different styles of waves. Oh, that's cool. Even just regular noise. Man, there are a ton of them. Okay, cool. That has more than you normally get out of a signal generator. Let's go with half wave. So right now we're at one kilohertz. Looks like we can adjust that. I'm gonna leave it at that. Duty cycle 50% and the amplitude. It looks like the max we got on that is 3.3 volts. So let's just make it three volts. So now let's go back to the oscilloscope. And, oh. trying. There we go. Interesting. So let's bring this There we go. So the auto didn't quite pick it up. It's a little odd. Let me change the probe to 1x. Oh, there we go. That cleaned up quite a bit. Let me just try auto again at that. Cool. There we go. 
So definitely make use of the 1x on the Pro if you're going to be doing fine units. What is really cool about this is that we know that we can use both the signal generator as well as the probe at the exact same time. So if I want to put out a signal, like if I want to run a motor or something like that, and I also want to check somewhere else that's not on the same point, I can actually do all that with this little guy. So yeah, having an oscilloscope as well as a signal generator built into this little guy, for the price, I don't really think you can beat it. If you need to have both of those functions, and especially having something that's really portable like this, it's got own battery, unless you connect it through USB, you don't even have to worry about the ground, so you don't have to worry about blowing this thing up nearly as much as you would with a standard oscilloscope. This is a really nice little guy, and I just noticed that it actually has a stand. So yeah, that is an awesome little tool.